Hello, I'm Lady Aska, and today I want to talk about creating custom poses in V-Ride Studio. At the time of this video, Christmas is approaching very fast. And maybe you're a bit sad that you can't really deliver a personalized Christmas or New Year's card because you aren't an artist and can't draw to create one of these cool and cute greeting cards for yourself. Well, V-Ride Studio got you covered. Of course, you can use Vroid's photo booth for various things. Guess how I'm making my thumbnails, for example. Honestly, I don't even know you could edit poses in Vroid till recently. So shout out to my good friend Hideto, who told me about it. So for our tutorial today, I will try to create a Christmas card. First, that means I have to dress for the occasion. And which place would be better to find a cute outfit than booth.pm? Let's take this one here for our purposes. Thank you, Agama Witch! We quickly dress the model and I just do a little modification on the neck part because I realized only then that my model had quite the unnatural long neck since version 1.0. Now we need of course a Christmas inspired background and I'm using one from the internet for this tutorial here. You should be good if you're using these for personal use if nothing states otherwise. Because in the end, you will probably just post this picture on your social media or send it out to your VIP followers. If you take money for a card like this, let's say you only would send these out to Patreons, or you would make art this way to sell it, always check with the license holder or hire someone to create the background if you can't do it yourself. You can also create a simple background with websites like Canva, which I highly recommend. The link is, as always, down in the description. The website lets you sign up for free and offers a lot of free options to use, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Now back to our greeting card. We import the background under background and then go to poses and animation. You may see a little drop down menu at the top that has two pose sets or the posing option, which we choose. As you may see, we have various control points here on our model now that lets you change direction and position of certain body parts like arms, legs, head, hips, hands and feet. I could play blindly around with it, but I actually have somewhat of an idea what I want. I picked this pose reference from Google and while I won't copy the whole pose, I want to get at least some inspiration from it. Always use references when you work with custom poses to make them look a bit more natural or closer to what you want. My idea is to create a cute and cheerful pose fitting for a Christmas greeting card. I start with adjusting the head and head position and then realize that I should also change the facial expression first, which you can do under facial expression. If you watched my last video on custom expressions, these sliders will all look familiar. The only difference is that nothing of this will be exported or saved to your model's data once you leave the photo booth section. So changing the expression here won't change them on your model forever. After I played around a bit with everything, I realized also that the editing points are either hypersensitive to my mouse movement or will barely move. It was at times really difficult to get to the pose that I wanted without the editor going crazy. And the worst part is you can't undo anything in here, so you have to be really careful. Once you like one of the poses, better don't touch them again because one click or mouse shake and you could destroy your hard work in a second. Just as a little heads up. But after like an hour of me fighting the edit points, I felt I had a pretty cute pose on my hand and positioned my model for the actual photo. Before pressing the photo button in the bottom right corner, you can and should do a few more things to enhance the quality of the image. First, go to post processing and set anti-aliasing to high. And for our Christmas setting, I actually wanted to use the bloom effect to give it that warm, fuzzy Christmas feeling. There are other effects that can be applied here too, but none of these really fit my purposes today. Then we go to pick size and select the 4K option in the drop down menu under preset sizes. With that, you will have a higher quality image that can then later be cut down to the size that you need without losing much of its quality. And then it's time for the fun part, taking the picture. Make sure to take a lot and maybe rotate your avatar around a bit to get that chocolate side, not just the one that you think looks the best. 
just like you would do while taking a real picture. Now I want to show you how you can take your picture to the next level using Canva. You load your picture in under Uploads and set it as Background. I want to add a few snowflakes and the text Merry Christmas. So I'm searching for snowflakes under Elements and add them into the picture. I can change their size and where I want them to be. Under Text, I can add in text. Though I don't recommend to pick one of the pre-made texts because they can come with multiple text boxes and it will be hard to delete them by hand. So I'm just picking that I want to add a heading. With that I can pick a font and color and change size till I'm happy with the result. To save your design, you download it with the download arrow in the upper right corner and they would offer a print service if you're interested in that. I hope you all have fun experimenting with that and feel free to tag me on your social media posts or use the hashtag showaska to show me your creations. I may even showcase your work here on the channel. As always, feel free to ask questions in the comment section and let me know what you're most interested in for future videos. Hope you have a wonderful day.